It's white, but it won't turn off. Oh. Wait. Yeah, now it's off. Cool. Yeah, that'll help. There's less. Less of your own light. Oh, that's already pretty bad. All right, I'm gonna unmute myself. Yeah, yeah, right, or should I not? Thank you. 
live from the theater basement, produced by Linda Cetera, engineered by Matt Brewer, technical assistants Will McDonald and Paul Rosa, dramaturgy, Theatricos Artistic Committee, playwright selection, Northern Arizona Playwriting Showcase, executive producer, Chris Verrill. You're clear. Live from the theater basement and sports psychology are productions of Theatricos Theater Company. Theatricos Theater Company, Flagstaff, Arizona, is the theater company of Northern Arizona and the Grand Canyon, embracing the spirit of Broadway with shows like Matilda, Legend of Georgia McBride, and Little Shop of Horrors. Live from the theater basement is a new show currently in previews during our world health crisis and in the process of being launched in a few months. If you as a listener viewer have input, we'd love to hear from you. If you're a playwright of a 10 minute show, NAPS is accepting submission now through July 1st. Email us at theater at theatricos.com for submission publications guidelines. If you'd like to see wonderful 10 minute shows live in person, you can join Northern Arizona Playwriting Showcase in the fall in Flagstaff, Arizona. Live from the theater basement, streaming live on Sunday evenings at 7.30 p.m. and available wherever you get your podcasts, is funded in part by Flagstaff Arts Council, Arizona Community Foundation, and listener viewers like you. I'm your host, Joe Maniglia. Thank you for joining us for Live from the Theater Basement. This is Theatricos. Up next on Live from the Theater Basement, we interview Flagstaff Musical Theater directors Kathleen Leatherwood and Shane Smith. That's next week, live, Sundays at 7.30 p.m. and wherever you download your podcasts. Okay. Should I turn on the mic? Uh, yeah, you know, go ahead. Why don't you turn on your uh, speaker? Or, you know, I've done all the
theater etiquette. That's because the sun was in my face. Now the sun's going down, so I think it'll be fine. Also, I've got the special Sybil Shepherd uh, filter on the on the camera, so so I look younger. Well, that's dating yourself then. I like to say Sybil Shepherd. Yeah. Put Vaseline on the on the camera. On the lens. I didn't touch the microphone. I was talking about the mic on my headset. That was a mistake. Sure. I've already gone. I'm I'm wearing an adult diaper like the NASCAR racers so I can just go and not have to not have to slow down.
What's happening what? Is it the YouTube? I said, is this on YouTube? And it taped that. So I don't know if my, my mic was on.
My name is Joe Maniglia, and I'm your host tonight for Live from the Theater Basement. Live from the Theater Basement, streaming live on Sunday evenings at 7.30 p.m. and available wherever you get your podcasts, is a production of Theatrico's Theater Company in partnership with Northern Arizona Playwriting Showcase and Deuteran Films. Tonight, we present a 10-minute play written by a local Flagstaff playwright and teacher at Coconino High School. The actors bring you this one live from across the country, from right here in Flagstaff, all the way to Washington State. Now, without further ado. Sports Psychology by Doug McLaughlin, starring John Tanus as Billy, Angela Keith as Debbie, and Tony Sutera as Marvin. Directed and narrated by Angeli Anderfuren. The play opens here, in a sports bar. Billy is sitting alone at a table wearing a New York Giants jersey, frequently yelling at the TV. Patriots will kick it away. Wiskowski will get rid of it. And Dominic kicks it. Here we go, Giants. Big D, baby. Patriots suck. I'd sack your ass, Mr. Pretty Boy Tom Brady. You're lucky I'm not there, you panty waist. I put a spin move on that guy right there. Couldn't stop me with your whole line, you candy-ass chicken shit. Let me go, Dad. I promise I won't embarrass you anymore. Drop the safety back. They're going to throw downfield. Who's watching the secondary, Mr. Magoo? What are you staring at? Yeah, I get into the game. You got a problem with it? <laughs> That's what I thought. Come on, New York. Watch the receivers now. Slot formation. Here comes a pass. No! God damn it. Stupid call. Should have blitzed. I'd have hammered him, Mom. Why'd you make me stay home and decorate for the baby shower? Come on, coach! Defense! Hi, my name is Debbie, and I'll be your waitress for the rest of the evening. What happened to Cindy or Candy, the other waitress? Carol? Uh, she had to leave. Probably time for a shift change. No, pretty sure she just left. College kids probably had a test to study for or something like that. No, just quit. Said there was this blowhard customer she couldn't take anymore. Basically threw her apron down and headed for the door. I'm sure she wasn't talking about you, though. Sounds like she's got issues. Yes, it's unfortunate. Can I get you anything? I heard you need all the help you can get. You being smart with me? No, sir. Just letting you know that I'll be waiting on you for the rest of your sports viewing experience. Well, if that's the case, you need to call me Mad Dog. That's kind of my high school nickname because of my whole football thing. What are the uh, appetizer specials? We have a few game day specials. Let me get you a menu. Can't you just read them to me? Or am I left out here all alone to fend for myself? Guess I'll have to remember that when it comes time to leave a tip. <laughs> okay. For our Sunday football specials, we have cheese sticks stuffed with sour cream and wrapped in bacon. And you can man-size that with an extra ladle of gravy for a mere $2. We also have double macho nachos with carne asada and pork tenderloin. And of course, you can mucho macho that with bacon stuffed jalapenos for the sweet deal of one extra dollar. You mean smoking deal. Excuse me? You're supposed to say for the smoking deal of one extra dollar. Just give me the potato skin supreme, and yes, I would like them double tough, extra deep fried with the bacon roll in the middle. Ah, thanks for correcting me. I'm still trying to remember all these impressive football specials. Can I bring you something to drink? 
What kind of imports do you have? Our imported beers on draft are Newcastle, New Belgium, Corona, Moosehead, Heineken, and Guinness. What's the option? Damn it! Sorry, little gal. I get excited. I played a little football back in the day. Would have probably played college and NFL, but I got injured. Oh, uh, what kind of injury? I play soccer for ASU. I'm majoring in psychology. I'm just home for the Christmas break, picking up some temporary work. You and try me out. It's kind of complicated. Well, as I was saying, I'm only majoring in psychology, but I've seen a few knee injuries. Was it a ligament tear or was it a cartilage? Watch the reverse. That was holding. You missed the call, Dad. Stupid ref. What were you saying? I'm kind of trying to watch the game here. Can you repeat the list of imports for me, Denise? Of course. Newcastle, New Belgium, Corona, Heineken, and Guinness. You forgot Moosehead. And Moosehead. I'll have a Bud Light. Excellent choice. One Bud Light. Oh, and uh, make it quick, Diane. <laughs> big man, big appetite, as you can see. And don't think I didn't notice you checking me out. I'm not sure what to say about that, but you probably should be checked out. It's Debbie, by the way, and I'll get your order in as fast as my little legs can carry it. Move your safety back, coach. Stevie Wonder could have seen that pass coming. Shit! Get that sneaky little running back. Tackle his ass! No! Oh. <sighs> nice job, defense. Way to give up another first down, Dad. I'd fire that defensive coordinator. Bet your ass I would. <sighs> All right. Big sack coming up here. I'll show you, Mom. I blitz right through that line. Swim move. Just like you taught me, Coach. Damn it! I could have covered that better with my bad knee. Way to go. You let him in the red zone. Here you go, sir. One Bud Light. And? And what? What about my double tough potato skins? Well, they have to cook because they're made of potatoes. Sounds like you're getting smart. I wouldn't attempt to get smart with you, Mr. Dog. It's Mad Dog. You have to call me Mad Dog. Go look at the custom license plate on my truck you know, the one with the steel balls hanging from the tow package. I'd have gone big time if I didn't hurt myself, get injured, get an injury. Mommy? Coach? She's supposed to feed me while I watch football. Call me Mad Dog, goddammit! What's the problem here? Billy, I told you not to disturb the other customers or I will show you the door. She's being a smart ass to me. Wouldn't dream of it. Listen, Billy, if I get one more complaint, you're out. No more warnings. We've talked about this before. Danny, I need to speak with you for a moment. Are you sure you want to go through with this? For 50 bucks? Damn right I do. I need the Christmas money. Okay, but if he gets himself kicked out, the bet's off. So you better keep him pacified. He is just a big, needy baby in a jersey of the Giants. <laughs> I noticed. He needs professional help. I know. Honestly, I was his Pop Warner coach. That's why I put up with him as much as I do. Oh, awful athlete. athlete. I, I mean, terrible. He showed up the first day with cardboard shoulder pads and a bicycle helmet, but... He wanted to play so bad. So I found him some old equipment. I used to drive him home after practice. His folks never came to his games. It's pretty sad. Sam is right. Poor guy. Freud would have had a field day with him. Seriously obnoxious, though. Quite the challenge. Uh, that's why we all pitched in the 50 bucks. If you can win a state championship and get a scholarship to ASU, you can handle Billy. 
I'm sorry, mad dog. <laughs> Remember, you have to keep him from pissing everyone else off or I'll have to pull him out. If he gets booted or you quit, you lose. I can handle him, I think. And maybe my psychology classes will pay off. Oh, yeah. I do dread the day I have to tell him he can't show up anymore. You're a true saint, Marvin. <laughs> you being sarcastic? Wouldn't dream of it. No, of course not. <laughs> uh oh, looks like Mad Dog's getting hungry again. I'm going back in. May I get you another beer? I'm sure your potato skins are almost done. Look at that stupid formation. Hey, Belichick, you should try coaching middle school. Ha! I'd work that lineman right there, Dad. You should see me tackle that kid. No! Don't let him go deep! Stupid pretty boy Tom Brady! Get him! Mom, sit down! You're disturbing everyone around you! Idiots! You left him all alone in the end zone! Dad, you left him all alone again! You shut up! I'm not a loser! You're a loser! Hey, Mad Dog, uh, can I read you another special? Yes, Mommy. What? I said, yeah, what else you got? God, this is getting weird. Uh, let's see, have you heard of this Slabber Rib special? Barbecued ribs deep fried with mashed potatoes on top, covered with chocolate pudding. Is that new? I was going to ask the cook about it, but I wanted to ask you first, Mad Dog, uh, to see what insight into what a real football player might eat. Yeah, good idea. Okay, take the mashed potatoes out and put fries in and then cover it in enchilada sauce. Oh, wow. That's uh, I tell it. We could call it the Sad Dog Slab of Ribs Super Special. Oh. Sorry, the Mad Dog Slab of Ribs. Hey, hey, look, uh, the Giants are getting the ball back. Uh, not much time left in the game, though. <laughs> Let me go check on those potato skins. They should be done. Come on. Let's go, Giants. Big kick return here, baby. Everybody pick up your blocks. Let's go special teams. Watch me play, mom. Here we go. Kick is up. Fields into the 15. Yes, jump that guy. Block for him, baby. Here we go. There's a seam. Mommy, only the kicker to beat. <laughs> Touchdown. Yeah, hell yes. Told you, dad. Look at me now, baby. <laughs> Look at me, everybody. Hey, Belichick, kiss this butt cheek. And pretty boy Tom Brady, you can kiss this one right here. <laughs> hey, you sit down and shut up. All of you can kiss my ass now. Woo! <laughs> That's it, Billy. I've got to pull you out for good this time. Yeah. Suck it. All of you. <laughs> Giants win. We win. I win. <laughs> well, tough break for you, but I couldn't let him continue disturbing everyone. What happened? I only left him for a minute. Couldn't contain himself. Completely lost it. Too excited. I'm glad I gave you the opportunity, though. You're a real gamer. The only one that could have handled him. Almost pulled it off. Yeah. Thanks, Marvin, for the opportunity. You're a true <laughs> philanthropist. You make Bill Gates look like a slacker. Time Magazine, man of the millennium. Uh, here, take the 50 bucks. It was worth it watching you try. Uh, you need to go wait on the other customers, and I need to go make sure Billy gets into his cab. <laughs> wow. That was strangely exhausting. I should change my major to early childhood development. Live from the theater basement. Live from the theater basement. Theater basement. By Linda Produced Cetera. by Linda Cetera. Engineered by Matt Brewer. Technical assistance. Technical assistance. 
and Will McDonald and Paul Rosa. Dramaturgy, Dramaturgy the Theatricos Artistic Committee, Playwright Selection, Playwright Selection Northern, Arizona Northern Arizona Playwriting Showcase, Executive Producer, Executive Producer Chris Farrell. For years and years, Fratelli Pizza has supported arts organizations throughout Northern Arizona. They've been wonderful community stewards, partners, and neighbors. And guess what? All three stores are open for delivery or carry out today. On Monday, May 25th, order lunch or dinner for delivery or carry out and help give back to your local pizza heroes. For Telly Pizza, thank you. We'll see you Monday. Live from the theater basement and sports psychology are productions of Theatricos Theater Company. Theatricos Theater Company, Flagstaff, Arizona, is the theater company of Northern Arizona and the Grand Canyon, embracing the spirit of Broadway with shows like Matilda, Legend of Georgia McBride, and Little Shop of Horrors. Live from the theater basement is a new show currently in previews during our world health crisis and in the process of being launched in a few months. If you as a listener viewer have input, We'd love to hear from you. If you're a playwright of a 10-minute show, NAPS is accepting submissions now through July 1st. Email us at theater at theatricos.com for submission guidelines. If you'd like to see wonderful 10-minute shows live in person, you can join Northern Arizona Playwriting Showcase in the fall in Flagstaff, Arizona. Line instructor Annette Falaha, who normally teaches at Museum Club, has taken her dance classes online. Learn line dancing with Annette and you'll be ready and confident when we can all get back out and step, step, step. Check out Annette's visionary dance vibes on Facebook and in your own home. Live from the theater basement, streaming live on Sunday evenings at 7.30 p.m., and available wherever you get your podcasts, is funded in part by Flagstaff Arts Council, Arizona Community Foundation, and listener viewers like you. I'm your host, Joe Maniglia. Thanks for joining us for Live from the Theater Basement. This is Theatricos. Up next on Live from the Theater Basement, we interview Flagstaff Musical Theater directors Kathleen Leatherwood and Shane Smith. That's next week, live, Sundays at 7.30 p.m. and wherever you download your podcasts.